thank you for um, having me in React Summit 2020 Remote Edition. I'm super excited to be here. And today um, I'll be talking about my journey um, of learning React. How do I go, you know, about things in learning React? How do I learn things at present as well whenever I uh, am stuck? So uh, I'll be dis discussing about that. Uh, so my name is Tathagat Thaplial and I work at Coding Blocks um, as a product engineer and instructor for ReactJS and Node.js. So we at Coding Blocks are basically uh, bridging the gap between uh, the industries and the professionals or uh, you can say college students. We teach them uh, you know, basic computer science stuff like uh, Android, web development, machine learning, data science. Uh, we prepare students for uh, cracking uh, big wigs like uh, Google, Amazon, Microsoft and we we are you know basically um, doing this so I work I develop products and uh, you know uh, teach students for react and all over there right so this is about myself and so I'll be uh, starting with my journey in react how did I you know get into this field how did I actually get in the field of uh, full stack basically so as you all know react is a front-end UI library which is very popular these days definitely right so um, so my journey so basically um, I'm a student undergrad student uh, at present I'm pursuing my bachelor's of uh, computer engineering I'm not yet graduated I'll be graduating this year so so I'm a student and uh, uh, one and a half year back I was you know actually zero in uh, full stack domain I did not you know actually knew anything about what is full stack what is web development what is development to be precise so i started my journey i you know begin with the very basic stuff like html css which is like every developer do so i started with those things then ultimately i chose react you know i chose to learn this ui library the reasons were um, for definitely popularity uh, many applications using react js so i you know i was you know able to you know uh, learn react and i was able to start it so that was the initial point which where, where, where i did not know anything about uh, you know uh, react js so i went through uh, you know uh, multiple phases so i'll be discussing them over here and uh, I'll, i think that will help you all to you know actually learn some some any any text stack so why and how to learn react is a very important question which should come in your mind whenever you start anything so why and how to learn x x is any text stack so why should you learn any text stack is a very important question you should every time you know um have a use case in your mind you should have a use case of any text stack you're learning you should know why you're learning that particular text stack not because it is popular not because it has a very high paying job or made majority of the jobs are uh, you know of that particular text stack that is not a right way to you know uh, learn any text stack so react uh, has uh, you know uh, basically a not that steep learning curve but yeah there is a bit learning curve involved in react so you need to uh, actually follow a step by step process and that is true for any tech stack so follow a step by step process the most important thing a developer should have is patience have patience so that is the one most important thing which i you know like about developers they have patience and they should have patience if they want to learn anything and if they want to be a good developer right so follow things step by step there's no shortcut to learn anything there's no you know um easy or there's easy easy ways but there are no shortcuts to learn anything so you should follow a step-by-step -step approach and you have to follow it right so once you follow the step-by-step -step approach you'll definitely um learn that particular thing and most important thing which we and i also did was don't Please never mess up any um, you know other tech stack along with uh, uh, the thing which you are learning. For example, React in this case. So don't mess any maybe uh, upcoming stack or very popular tech stack with a React because uh, there will be a time when you are or you are not sure whether you know you are already confusing code or you have a dumb team. So be sure about your code. Don't mess up things. Don't mess up React and um, you know uh, maybe like TypeScript. Don't mix them because TypeScript is again you know transpiled back to JavaScript. So because browsers ultimately understand JavaScript, right? They don't understand uh, TypeScript. So JavaScript is typed into TypeScript and TypeScript is again you know transpiled back into JavaScript. So learning React with uh, JavaScript should be followed, not with TypeScript because you know again majority of the projects are uh, using React and JavaScript, not React and TypeScript, right? So secondly, React Redux. So that is a very popular term, which um, 
developers you know have heard people who uh, have heard whenever they start with react they you know think react and redux are related and redux can only be used with react that is not the case react is an independent uh, state management li- javascript library you can use it with anything but yeah they are um, coupled together because they uh, have a very uh, good use case so people start with redux so you should not uh, you know directly hop into redux you should use the sta- uh, built in state management of react that is used most of the times and redux is definitely used whenever you have a large scale application right so but for initial learning curve you should not you know um, pick redux to learn state management in react then uh, talking about react with gatsby so gatsby is a uh, again uh, a uh, static site generator which is basically a very uh, good thing to know but actually it it has its own you know plugin system and it it has its own learnings like uh, you uh, the graphql things and all so gatsby on its own independent is a very good uh, thing but it is not a good thing to learn react definitely right so these are the some key points which i um, you know i follow and i have been following in, uh, them so the first day which i decided to run react the first thing which i did was read the docs i followed the docs on very basics and i built the whether the hello world application whatever they you know um, tell me to build i do that particular thing so i learn with docs while doing so that is most important thing learn with docs and you know learn to do things practically and learn to do them uh, you know uh, every day so uh, what i do is i keep a track on uh, you know waka time it is a very good tool uh, most of you um, may be knowing about it so waka time is a very good tool to you know keep your activity tracker activity track of daily uh, coding right so i keep a track over there uh, i stick to my plans and then the most important thing is learn react in public now what is public meant public means the internet uh, things available on the internet um so for example like um this guy chris uh, you know tweeted about uh, learn react in 10 tweets so he has a thread of you know uh, 10 tweets in which he teaches something or the other about react and it is a very good you know uh, thing to actually read i read uh, all the tweets and all the, those 10 tweets and they were a very good source of learning for me so follow these um, people on uh, maybe twitter and medium uh, or somewhere else and just see what are they actually sharing and what new things you can you know gain from them and it is a very trust me it is a very good source to learn secondly um so these were the you know some things which i uh, use and have used in the past to uh, uh, learn new things and whenever i i you know want to learn something in existing stack or i want to explore a new uh, tech stack so i follow those things so uh, i started with zero and at present i work with these uh, some of these technologies so like i've been working with node.js in the back end uh, basically express js happy and uh, in the front end i've been um, you know working with react ember js uh, vue js uh, server side nux next and uh, graphql spec redux so these are the some things which i uh, work with which we at coding blocks are using to build our uh, product and scale them so um and So yeah, that is uh, all from my side. Um, a very short talk, but yeah, I hope you um, got something out of it. And I'm every time, any time, up for a discussion on uh, anything related to like uh, operating systems, uh, full stack development, like front end, back end. Um, so I'm every time ready. I always, you know, uh, 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 is you know feel energetic, and I'm always seeking for people who want to discuss something about. um maybe full stack domain or st- uh, stuff like that right so yeah you can catch me on twitter you can ping me or you can find my most of the public projects uh, on github my github handle is there, uh, given and i write blogs as well so not much these days but yeah i do write blogs and share my experience over medium so you can go and follow me over there as well so that is all hi guys from my side and once again thank you for uh, having me in the react summit 2020 so yeah any questions i'll be most some more than happy to you know answer them after the talk and i'll be uh, available anytime right so yeah thanks a lot cheers